Why haven't you picked up your phone? Because it's in a game. What's going on? Your uncle just called me. Your parents were in a crash. Stop. You're okay, it's okay. Oh, Maddie. Maddie, I really, really messed up. How's your mom doing? It's not your fault. It's not your fault, Dad. stomach anything at this point. I have to tell you something, Matt. And it's really, really bad timing, but I'm out of time. I'm moving. What? To Connecticut. My family's going and I want to go with them. Natalie, I just lost my mom. And my dad's laid up in a hospital bed, probably on the verge of dying too. And you're really gonna lay that on me right well, now? I don't, I don't know what to say. We've been fighting a lot. I think we need a break. I've been dating for two years now. Don't make me feel bad about it, Matt. I already feel bad. I'm not going for another week, so we still have time to talk. Can we talk about it? I don't think there's anything left to talk about. You've shown your true colors. Just like that? Just like that. Mr. Banks. Hi, Matt. No work today? No, the warden gave me a day off from jail. That's awesome. Well, enjoy your day. You too. Everyone trips in public. You're always beautiful. Well, yeah, when you drink, you get dizzy. And I guarantee they were not laughing at you, okay? Okay, granted, you did take your pants off, but that happens. Yeah, uh, yeah, Dan. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give you a call back. Yeah, we'll get that out to you, okay? Yeah, yeah, it's important. I'll call you back, yeah. Okay, all right, I love you. Okay, yeah, bye. Hey! Matt, it's hey. good seeing you. Was that Dan? Uh, yeah. You say love you to Dan? All right, you got me. That was not Dan. It was Jen, so I took Jen out last night. She got shit-faced. Oh. She's what you call a lightweight. 
took her pants off, went through a fountain, started running around, singing all kind of crazy songs. Uh, I just, probably the funniest thing I've seen in my life. I'll tell you what is good though. It's good to see you here right now. I mean, what time is it? It's like almost noon. 11. My man, I like it. Keep it up. Um, yeah, listen, can I, uh, can I pick up my check today? Um, yeah, of course. Obviously, of course. Here, wait one second, all right? I appreciate it. I did put a bonus in there for you. You know, I know you haven't worked here long. You're done before noon. I gotta keep good people like you around here. So, in my eyes, you already earned that money. I mean, thanks, but... Hold on, don't... How did I get a bonus? Like, doesn't that usually come down from the top? Yeah, I know it's a little weird. I've been clocking you in every day, eight to five. Why? Well, we have a budget. And if you're done before noon every day, as you can already imagine, they're gonna cut that budget. So, just think of it, just think of it as like a win-win between me and you. Shorter days, more money, right? You like it? Yeah, okay. All right, man, well, get the hell out of here, man. All right, enjoy your weekend. We'll see you on Monday, Matt. Hey, listen, you gotta pick something up for me next Friday. I already told Sam you would. Mm. <laughs> so, there was this prick on the highway, and he was cussing me out, right? And of course, he's driving like an idiot. And what does Uncle Jonathan do? <laughs> he tells him off, right? And boy, he did not like that at all. <clears throat> what are you cooking? That smells great. You gonna offer me any? What the hell is your problem, man? You need a mint. You smell like a brewery. Looks like you're gonna have to make more, huh? Hey. I like mine with barbecue sauce. Oh, and a side of corn, too. Yeah? Fuck you. Light salt. next time. What, what's the matter with your jaw? Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just fell. Well, you gotta watch your step, Manny. Have you burned the house down yet? Dad, we, we lost the house over a month ago now. A month ago? <laughs> Maddie, I've only been here a day. And your mother, she's just out there talking with the doctor. And I really got to ask her a couple of things, maybe a question. Yeah. Matt, go get your mother. Dad, I can't do that. Matthew, go get your mother. Dad, listen to me. Mom's dead, okay? 
You were both in a car accident a month and a half ago. You've been staying with your brother, Jonathan, remember Jonathan? Because he lives close to the hospital, that way I can check in on you. This is the fourth time I've told you. She's not dead, Reddy. That's a horrible lie to tell. Believe me, I really wish I was lying. Talk to you later. All right, Matt, uh, can we get out of here early? I got big plans with Jen tonight. Yes, sir. Nothing. Uh, my, uh, my girlfriend hit me. Your girlfriend hit you? Yeah, I got punched. By this girlfriend? Well, actually, that's, that's not true. I, I don't have a girlfriend. Well, that's why you got punched. Lemon bar? Sure. Ah, you have to sit on the blanket. Of course. Here's your lemon bar serve meal, man. Thank you. So, uh, what, what, are you, what are you doing out here? Picnic. You? Working. That sounds like fun. Are you just like handing out letters? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I love letters. They can either hold really amazing news or really bad news. The unknown. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess, I guess that's kind of why I do it. Probably just do it because it's a job. Are you a chronic liar, or is this a new thing? Uh, well, I guess it would depend on the question. So, like, if you want new fax machines, do you go on strike or something? <laughs> You're funny. Dodge in the question again. What's your name? That's classified information. It's actually really good. Did you make these yourself? And I did. I actually have to go make more. Watch the blanket. Wait, where are you going? I'll be five minutes. No, I have to go to work. Did you almost die? Yeah, I just got tied up with something early on and then I was you trying know, to catch up the hold on. You know I hate staying here after four o'clock. You see all this work? How's it gonna get it, done? It. Take a guess. Oh, I got it. Me. What's going on with all this? I, uh, I tripped. You tripped? Yeah, pretty bad fall. You tripped. Just know that I know a few people that could help with whatever this situation is, if you need it. No, don't worry about it. It's just a misunderstanding. The fall. The fall. Yeah, I bet. Just listen here. Try to get done at a reasonable time tomorrow, OK? I'll let it slide just this once. Got it? I got it. Did you, did you go see Frank? Yeah. Yeah, I did. He still thinks it all happened yesterday. You would think after a month he'd be better. I'm starting to think that the doctors are lying at this point. We just, we just have to stay positive. Listen, I, uh, I want to apologize for uh, hitting you last night. I was... I was way out of line. It's all good. Just a little bit. No, man, it's... It, I really am sorry. I, I don't want to hurt you. I, mean, I, I really am working on my problems. My drinking, mainly. Believe me, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a punch in the jaw to break me, okay? Let's just focus on Frank. You ready for the big game? I don't know. I mean, 
I've been trying to get out and practice as much as I can, but with everything going on, it's been really hard to focus. And of course, Barry Johnson's out doing the same thing. Don't worry about Barry, man. You're the best in the state. You're gonna be great. You know, practice is just keeping the rest off. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey, hello. How can I help you today? Good. Um, can I have these up? Sure. Wanted, dead or alive. Blanket thief. Reward thirteen twenty nine. You wouldn't. Um, okay. You wouldn't have anybody around here who likes to steal picnic blankets, would you? I mean, no, no hey, one. Can you send these out? They go to my lawyer. You wouldn't have anyone around here who likes to steal picnic blankets, would you? I'm gonna hang these up. Matt. Good morning, Mr. Banks. I brought you your mail. Well, thank you. You didn't have to do this. You could have left it in the box. Yeah, I, uh, I actually kind of need to ask you something. Whoa, it's not serious, is it? No, but it might be kind of a long shot, honestly. Um, you wouldn't happen to know of a girl who sometimes has picnics uh, at the park? Across the street. I just figured, just because you live so close, maybe you'd have talked to her or run into her or something. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I have something that belongs to her, and all I have to go off of is a name. It's Mackenzie. Oh, you're not talking about my daughter, are you? Short brown hair. Goofy glasses. Yes, that's exactly who I'm looking for. Do you have any idea how I can get in touch with her? I really want to give her her stuff. I often wonder the same thing. She lives in her own little world. She doesn't really talk to me that much. Right. Well, thank you, Mr. Banks. If you find her, Matt, be careful. Just, well, just let me know if you find her. I will. Thanks, Mr. Banks. you my name. Ugh. My friends warn me about people who know people's names without actually knowing who the people are, and those people are called stalkers, and stalkers are creepy. I told you I was going to be gone for five minutes. You have the nerve to leave my blanket to be taken. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, for one, I like your wristband. Don't try and change the subject. Also, I have your blanket. I had to go to work the other day, so I took your blanket with me, so no actual blanket thieves would take it. Oh. Welcome. So you're like, some kind of hero? Well, yeah, actually, I go out uh, every night in my underpants and save all the wristbands and blankets from all the dragons and trolls that... Why are you telling me this? What kind of superhero are you? Well, maybe I have uh, mind-erasing powers. My mind erased. Turn around. Turn around. Okay. Come on. Here. This is my address. Bring my stuff there tonight and you won't have to feel my wrath. Um, okay, but wait. Well. No later than eight o'clock. Try and like dress nice. So wait, is this like a date? Of course not. It's just a return. Should I eat before? No, I'm making you dinner. Duh. Kind of sounds like a date. Oh, 
coffee this time of night? Make a cup if you want. <laughs> I'm good. You going out? Yeah, um, yeah. Just gotta return something to a friend. Is this friend a uh, female? Because you seem dressed for the company of a lady. <laughs> she is a female, yes. I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit. Ho oh, ho ho! Matt gonna get some action tonight, huh? No. Definitely no action. I am literally just returning something. Hey, listen, did you get a chance to go talk to Sam and grab that package for me? Oh, yeah, I did. It's uh, it's in the backseat of my car. Matt, you don't even know what's in there. You're just gonna leave hey, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta go. I'll be back later. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Really? Matt? Hi. You brought it. Give it. Yeah. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get going then. <laughs> uh, have a good night. Okay, you can come in. I was just seeing how awkward I could make it. <laughs> oh. Okay. I've never had the mailman over before. Tell me about you. Um, yeah, well, actually, I have a question first. You live here? Yeah, this is my castle. And you did all this yourself? No, not myself. My friends helped me. So this is Doug. That's Quackers. That's Oinker. That's Lamb Chop. That's Horny. That's Bernard. That's Pillar. He's going to be a beautiful butterfly. This is Roger. And then my best friends, that's Robbie, Bobby, and Hops. It's home. I never got your name. It's Matt. Matt. Thank you for saving my blanket. And in honor of how heroic you were, I'm going to make you dinner. OK. On tonight's menu, little teeny tiny sugar cookies and big glasses of lemonade. <laughs> Wait, like actually? No. I can eat, boy, let me tell ya. Okay. I was looking for so, tell me, what's it like to be you? Well, uh, I would like to call myself a professional airsoft player, but that would be a lie, because I've never won a state match. Yeah, the air is soft, I agree. <laughs> no, no it's, a, it's a game. With guns that shoot pellets. Then why is it called airsoft? Well, the guns are powered by air or gas. You shoot people with air? Well, no, the pellets. So you shoot people with soft pellets? Well, no, they're hard. They're like plastic. Why wouldn't they just like call it pellet hard then if you're shooting people with hard pellets? I, know. I don't know. They didn't run it by me before they named it, but uh, I play games with other people and there's actually a really big match next week and the grand prize is like $10,000. Wait, you like get real money to shoot people with these hard pellets? If you win, yeah. I haven't won a match in like four years though. Every year I lose this guy named Barry. Barry Johnson. What? Hopefully this year I can beat him. Barry Johnson. You know what? Fuck Barry Johnson, that ice cream named fucker. <laughs> ice cream named fucker. I like that. Ben and Ben and Barry Johnson. Or ben and Barry's. It doesn't work. Just tell me about you. Why do you want to know about me? 
I'm more interested in hearing about shooting people for money. <laughs> oh my God, what have I become? No, seriously, like, what makes you tick? Why do you want to know about me? You live inside of a cardboard box, and you're not homeless, so... First of all, this is not a cardboard box. This is a castle. Well, I didn't mean it like that. This is just unique. I mean... I guess. Trust me, it is. I, I don't know, I just... I like castles and... Dragons, princesses, princes. Love at first sight. Waking sleeping bitches with a kiss. Yeah, it's not all that bad. It's kind of like my stories. Really? Oh, uh, I'm a writer. I write stories and then I tell them to my friends here. I'd love to read some of your stories. Wait, do you have like parents? Nope. I was born from air. You know what I mean. <laughs> no, but but really, my, my my mom and dad are they're great. They just, they don't understand me. My dad, he's, he's disappointed about who I've become. I guess he just, you know, the four walls I surround myself with don't match his. They don't match a lot of people's. I guess I just paint them different. That's why I sit here and I drink lemonade with all my friends. So, Bobby, Bobby the Beaver, he loves tea parties, but he also likes drama, gossip, don't get him started. And then there's Robbie. Robbie, he's a little bit more chill. He likes coffee, two seconds of sugar, and then just a splash of cream. And then there's Hops. He's a little sensitive. He doesn't really go out much. My sweet little Hops. Anyways, who wants pie before the shower? shower. One, two, three, four. Meteor shower. Don't be a creep. Oh, oh yeah, of course. The meteor shower, that's tonight. Showering meteors. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, my pals and I are going to the park to watch. Do you want to join? I'd absolutely love to shower with you in the park. I mean, watch the meteor shower with you in the park. Stars look amazing. They really do. You know, I heard up on Juniper Mountain that you can see the whole Milky Way. I've always been into astronomy. I really want to see Saturn's rings. Why can't you? I don't want a telescope. And I think of all the stars in the sky as wishes waiting to be wished upon. Once you make a wish, a star comes blasting through the sky. Then somebody else has to wish upon it for it to come true for both of you. I'm not sure I'm following. It's like, um, it's like a phone call. Ring, ring. What are you doing? I'm waiting for you to pick up. Ring, ring. Hello. Now we're both on the phone. We both get our wish. So it's like a, like a connection. Exactly. Hanging up now. Can I hang up too? Yeah. Look! It's a meteor! Close your eyes. Make a wish. I don't really know that I believe in wishes. Shh! Don't say that too loud or they might hear you. Just... Just try it, okay? Close your eyes. What do you wish for? I'll tell you if it comes true. Deal.
Careful. You might break a sweat there, Jonathan. And what? You on your second, third lunch break of the day? <laughs> That's good. You do anything fun with the wife this weekend? Uh, no, we... She's busy. What, she run away with your best friend or something? Oh, you know that boat I was telling you about? I got it, man. Bad ass. Taking to the lake. My lady, her friends, bikinis, beers, blast. Hey, that's up. Uh, that's great, Paul. Hey, you gonna be done in that room anytime soon? I gotta get back there, and you're in my way. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get it done. I shoot that bullseye? You have to make me dinner tonight. <laughs> okay. It's really not that hard, but it does take some practice to get good. So I'll show you how to do it. Ow! <laughs> Mackenzie! <laughs> 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 what? 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I've been shot lots of times. It doesn't hurt that bad. But do me a favor and point it that way. You meanie! Lesson learned. Now, aim just above that target, okay? Relax. Now stay just above the target. Okay. Let the wind do the rest. Breathe out. Boba. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong? Do I stink? <laughs> no, it's, trust me, it's not you. Well, you don't have to make me dinner if you're gonna be a poor sport about it. Yeah, I do. And that's not what I'm upset about. I wanna do that. Well, then what's wrong? Not, nothing, nothing. It's a, it's a great shot for first timer. That's what's all. What's wrong? Mackenzie, seriously, nothing. Tell me what's wrong or I'm gonna shoot Mackenzie. you. Mackenzie! Open up, damn it! A lot's wrong, okay? I just lost my mom. My dad's in the hospital. My uncle's a prick. I hate my job. And I feel like my entire life has fallen out from underneath me. Everything I know and love is up north, and the only reason I'm down here is to be close to my dad. Because he might go at any second. That's what's wrong. What happened to your dad? He, uh, he was in a pretty bad car accident a month ago. He's kind of slowly getting worse. Doesn't remember that my mom was just like. What? What happened? My, uh, my mom was in the car with him when it happened. Let me make you dinner. <laughs> they don't make me dinner, that's rude. You can come over for dinner, but I'll order something. <laughs> Good night. I didn't really want to make dinner anyways. I kind of regretted it as soon as I said it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd make. Wait, you, you don't cook? Mm -mm. What about that time I came over and you made me dinner? Those were actually microwave meals that I, I put on a plate and said I made. Some lady named Susan out there is really pissed, so I took her credit. Nicely done. Well, let's cook something. My uncle's usually out at the bars late anyway. No, it's, it's fine. We just, we don't have to make anything. It's fine. Can't be. We're cooking.
before you eat. Okay. Just admire how good we did. <laughs> I honestly turned out pretty well. I'm really good. Someone's breaking into your house. What? Oh. What's uh, this? Hey, Jonathan. Uh, we're just having dinner. Actually, someone I want you to meet. Who is it? Hi. Uh, I'm Mackenzie. Actually, really excited to meet you. Matt says you're a real prick. <laughs> Quite the sense of humor, huh? Yeah. Um, well, we, we made food. Uh, I don't know if you want to join. Uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I'd like that. So, Mackenzie, what do you do? Well, I'm a writer. I write novels. Oh. So. If I Google your name, will you pop up? A lot of people like to read the novels I write. Would someone like me enjoy your novels? Um, well, I mean, if you like romantic stories about hot werewolves and devilishly handsome vampire slayers, then, I mean, all power to you. I got a story about Matt when he was about 10, I think. So, I was pulling into his dad's driveway for Thanksgiving. I get out of my truck, and here I see little Maddie, foam sword in hand, big old goggles on his head, and ever so gently upon his little head, a pair of underwear. <laughs> I walk over to him and I ask him, I said, Matt, what are you doing? And he says to me, in his most superhero big boy voice, he goes, I'm playing daddy when he drinks his big boy water. <laughs> it's funny because the old man was a bit of a lightweight when it came to drinking. Okay, that's enough. I'm just telling a story, man. Sorry that I asked you to stop. I think it's the last time I ever went to your parents' house for the holidays. Yeah, the rest of the night got a little awkward after that. Frank and Karen, what have I asked you to stop, don't you get? I asked you to stop. Well, want some pie? Um, I'll take one. Or two. Lots of whipped cream, please. I love pie. Looks like it's raining outside. I love the rain. Yeah, we should honestly probably get you home soon before it gets too bad. So, Mackenzie, tell me a little more about yourself. What do you do when you're not writing? Um, well, I, I haven't quite figured that out yet. So if you don't have a job, then what are your hobbies other than writing? Well, writing is my job. I write greeting cards. <laughs> writing isn't a real job. I mean, building houses is a real job. Fixing cars is a real job, but writing books or greeting cards? I mean, I can't imagine that pays any type of wage. I make enough to buy lots of lemonade and keep a castle over my head, so I think so. Castle? Let's change the subject. Yeah? You caught me. My real name is Nelia, and I am a Russian spy here to shoot people with hard pellets. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Well, I like looking at the stars and hanging out with my friends. We have friends, that's good. Tell me about them. They're, uh... Well... They're, um... Cool. And... Fun. And, um... Definitely not stuff. Right. How's the pie? It's really good. Wow. It's really raining out there. Yeah, you know what? Let's go take a look. Oh, okay. Coming. Thank you. <laughs> You want to stay the night? <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, no. How are we gonna drive home? I just have a couple of things that I have to do before bed. Like I have to wash my face, and that can be a really time-consuming. No, so I have face wash. I have to brush my teeth. Brush your toothbrush. I have to feed my dog. Wait, you have a dog? Oh, it's it's really raining hard. Hold on, what kind of dog do you have? Persian. Yeah, it's really cute. Mackenzie, that's a kind of cat. No. It's a dog. It's not. Listen, Mackenzie, I'm not gonna do anything, okay? 
It's just for one night. It's like work in the morning anyway. It'll be fine. Can you trust me? It's fine. I pinky swear. Fine. Good choice. It's still rainy out there. Hey, what's uh, what's your favorite type of animal? Uh, probably like a, a tiger. <laughs> Where'd you go? I'm right here. What's yours? Mm, I'd say a lion. <laughs> you lying to me? <laughs> that joke. Tell me about the greeting cards you make. Oh, um, they're. I mean, people order them from my website. I just send them the personalized cards. I make them all myself. <laughs> Do you like doing that? I love it. My favorite thing to make is love letters. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do in the world? Look at the stars. No, hold on. I think I have something you really like. Close your eyes. Letting me stay over last night. Well, I was really glad you wanted to stay. Yeah, I just gotta be careful, you know, because like. Ugh. Right. No, I, I understand, but really, you don't have to worry about that with me. I'm really not like that. Well, I appreciate that, but I don't think most murderers would tell their victims if they were gonna kill them, you know. Uh, you never know. Shit, you caught me. Yeah, I can really never tell if you're joking, Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I wouldn't actually kill you. Thanks. I mean, at least when you're awake. Mackenzie! Dad? Well, what a pleasant surprise. What are you doing here? Matt told me you come to this park. I've been keeping an eye How out. How do you know Matt? Well, he is the mailman. Duh. I, you know, I, actually, I should probably be getting back to work anyway, so it was, uh, it was really nice to see you, Mr. Banks. But... Matt? Why don't I treat you both to dinner tonight? Uh, Matt is really busy. Well, that's why I said tonight. Matt is working tonight. Uh, when do you get off? Uh, 12 a.m. No, more like, well, no, more like three, right? Yeah, no, uh, he's just, he's so busy. No, just... I, I get off later this afternoon, so maybe if we plan around, like, say six, if I'm still invited, of course. Great. Great. Mackenzie, I'll see you later. Bye. Take care, Matt. Two family dinners in one week? Woo! I am so excited. Mackenzie, your mother and I want to speak with you. That's what tonight's for. See you tonight. Mackenzie! Bye! Last week he's back at it again. By the way, I think I found the missing package off that big house on 6. I'm pretty sure Erica brought it to the wrong place. What's up? Everything okay? Here you go. What's this? They're shutting us down. What do you mean they're shutting us down? They're cutting all the fundings and they're turning the branch up north into the big office, closing everybody down. 
You know, I know it's all of a sudden. I can put your name in, but there's no guarantees. Just know I'm truly sorry. Well, you're home early. Obviously, you're staying busy. I thought you were uh, working on your drinking. I am. It's the only one today. Nice. Ah, it's good to see you too, Maddie. Why am I seeing you? Shouldn't you be at work? Hey, uh, they let me come home early. Why are you coming home early if you got bills to pay? Yeah, why don't you just let me worry about that, okay? I believe it. Hey, stop coming in so late. I'm tired of being woken up by you. Darling, this is the guy I was telling you about. Wonderful mailman. Probably the best one we've ever had. Well, it's wonderful to meet you. Likewise to you. Uh, Mackenzie has told me a lot about you. Oh, really? Like what? Uh, that you were very good at uh, what you do. Like uh, what I do at the firm? Uh, yeah, and, and how... Top of our class. How, how you're top of your class? <laughs> top of my class. Hmm. Like uh, in school? Yeah, I, I suppose I do. Anyway, the spread looks amazing. Did you just compliment my wife's spread? Uh, I'm sorry? He meant the food, Dad. I was talking about the food. Well, what about my wife? Doesn't she look good, too? Oh, well, yeah, no, of course. You look lovely as well tonight, Mrs. Banks. We're just pulling your leg, Matt. Relax. Don't worry, Matt. It's the same joke every time Mackenzie brings someone over. Uh, how many people have come over? Oh, uh, what, 45? Oh, no, I'd say more like 60. Uh, I guess I don't understand. It's a joke, Matt. Mackenzie has never had a boyfriend, let alone brought one over for dinner. Oh, no, Matt, Matt's not my boyfriend. Oh. He's my adventure buddy. That's great. Now I can relax. Well, Matt, you liking the job? Uh. I'm sorry? You know, the job. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, um, actually, I'm, uh, sorry, uh, looking for... What? You don't like the... Hey, we don't allow phones at the table. Sorry. Is everything okay? Well, did you get fired? Um, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm just, just looking for a new job. Matt, you seem like a normal kid. Why you're seeing my daughter, I, I cannot tell. Because she's perfect. Oh, Matt, I think the wine's gone to your head. That must be some potent wine. Uh, you top me off? What, what's wrong with you people? I beg your pardon. I, I mean, you sit here and you judge Mackenzie like she isn't your daughter, like she's some kind of freak. Why don't you just let her live her life? Who do you think you are? I'm someone who cares. You shouldn't be talking about things that you don't know anything about. We know more than you do, kid. She's a troubled child. We had to raise her. Oh, you're pretty sorry. Excuse her parents if you ask me. What are you talking about, Matt? You don't know anything. She's got some big problems. She's not all there. I think maybe you should just get the hell out of here if you're going to disrespect me in my own house. Listen, never discredit yourself for others, okay? You should just get the hell out of here. I think you should probably just go. Mackenzie.
You can expect a call to your supervisor. You know what? They're actually closing the office anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. Have a good night. So he was fired. Who the hell's gonna deliver my mail? Yeah, I think it's better that you stay single. You're not gonna find a real man. Honey, when I first met your father, I was lost too. But he took me in and taught me to be a wonderful person and a loving wife. That's right. You just need someone like your father to teach you these important lessons. And Matt, he's not the man. I don't think he's any kind of man, quite frankly. Yo. Dad taught me something, too. He taught me to never wait for somebody to tell you how important you are. How beautiful you are, how strong you are. Because you're just going to be waiting your whole life and turn out to be a spineless, attention-seeking whore like my mother. Mackenzie Banks! Shame on you. I taught you better than that. You go out that door, you're dead to us. I'd rather be dead than stupid. Hey, doctor. What's the good news? You know my doctor. Where do I know you from? Frank, it's, it's me, Jonathan. All my life, you've been there through all my struggles. And I kind of need you now, buddy. the end of my rope. I don't know how to be a father to Matt. And I don't know if I can keep this going. I don't know if I have the strength to keep moving forward. I'm at the end of my rope. What the hell's going on here? 
You turn that back on, huh? I was enjoying that. Why is there broken glass on the ground? The trash was full. Maybe you took it out every once in a while. Are those my clothes? Yep. And there's two more boxes for you upstairs. I went ahead and took the liberty. <laughs> Brother died, you know that? You owe me more beer, asshole. <laughs> Oh shit! No, 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 no. Streaming online, if you want to watch. I was planning on coming. Yeah, you, you don't really look like you're in any kind of condition to leave the house, so. I want to apologize for last night. I'm planning on winning this game today, taking the money and getting my own place. It's not necessary. No, actually it is necessary. Because I can't keep living with someone who can't even live with himself. Last of my family. And I can't be around for it anymore. Maybe this time you'll get exactly what you've been waiting for. Loneliness. This time is different. doing here? My dad's job offer was changed, so we're not going. Oh, good for you. How's your dad? He's gone. Matt, I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Listen, I've been thinking so much about us, and I really want to give us another shot. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. Why? Because you left. Left when I needed you the most. And now I know what kind of girl you are. You're the kind that runs out on the people who love you the most, 
when the going gets tough. No, I'm not. That is not fair. The thing is, I'm not just saying that. You actually did it. And I'm the kind of person who judges people on their actions, not their words. I got a game to play. Matt. Matt! best in the state. You're going to be great. You know, practice is just keeping the rust off, you know? You know, I've always believed in you, right? Finally got me. About time. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, I hit you. I know you do. Woo! How you like that, Barry Johnson, huh? Huh? How you like them apples? Hey, there he is. The champ is here. Man, you had a couple close calls here, but you pulled it off, huh? Yeah, yeah, I did. Listen, Maddie, I, I want to come clean. You know, what happened last night was unacceptable. We're, we're blood, we're family, you know? I'm gonna tell you this, this is the last time I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna get better. Yeah, we'll see. Maddie, trust me, I'm, I'm done. Jonathan, I've been down this road with you way too many times. Yeah, I, I know. Can I help you, officer? Jonathan Peterson? Yeah, that's me. Sir, I'm gonna need you to put your hands behind your head and step down to the driveway. No, wh why? Sir, hands behind your head, down to the driveway. On your knees. Hold on, wait, why, why is he being arrested? Oh. Suspicion of vehicular manslaughter. Dispatch be advised to have suspect in custody. Okay. 
Maddie. Stay, please. Is that your son? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he is. Where are you off to, sweetie? Oh, I'm just going to the store to pick up some lemons and probably a cake. Celebrating something? No. Can I drive you? Well, then who would the birds be singing to? Honey, it's a long way out there. Okay, bye. Can we talk about what happened? Sure. Your mother and I are upset. You're upset? We want our daughter back. And where did I go exactly? We can't, we want to get you some help. Look, maybe you're thinking of the wrong person. I'm just me. Okay, I don't need help. I'm perfect just the way I am. We love you. Take care, Dad. Evening falls, giving grace to summer fields and they You really can't see the whole Milky Way from up here. Oh, look who decided to show up. It's too bad I don't, just don't have any cookies or something to dip in it. I got cake and lemonade, pal. Deal with it. It's perfect. Hey, listen, I got you a present. <gasps> Great! I'm closing my eyes. I love gifts. Okay, it's not a super huge deal. I just I got it with some of the money I won from the airsoft competition. Really? enough to do that. I mean, I really could use a new blender. Okay. Mackenzie, yes I did. And also you don't have to cover your eyes. No! This is how you properly receive gifts. Eyes closed and high expectations. Now tell me when. You can open them. You got me a t-shirt cannon. Thanks. No, Mackenzie, it's a telescope. You can see Saturn tonight. Oh, my lemonade-loving lollipop swirling God, Fuck yeah! Count the moments inside my mind Steep in the afternoon Oh my god, there's so many stars out tonight. Look, look, look. Never wishing that somewhere else Held on to you like Loctite Oh, hey, look, there's Saturn. Let me see, let me see, let me see. It's beautiful, look. I kind of think I'm already looking at something beautiful. I think we were born for it. I think we were born for it. Hey, I think we were born for it. So it home before moved a lot when I was a kid. Hear your footsteps run to the door on the corner where you live. Never wishing on someone else. We let it all go to midnight. Looking at the stars to find ourselves full of life and spite at the same time. It's a star, it's a light, it's a signal fire. It's the sound of your voice cutting through the night. It's a song, it's a note, it's reflected light Keeps us dancing through the static and I hear you sigh Said I think we were born for it I think we were born for it I think we were born for Helping you, helping me see my you grow into someone you're proud of. Hope you get to hold on. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Tortoise Man, now says goodbye. Mr. Hyde, why is everyone in my life just fucked up all the time? Mr. Tortoise Man, I guess.
shit. And your mother is probably... No, she's, she's fucking dead. Dollar dollar bills, boy. Take one, take two. 